Hey, gearheads, welcome to another informative session with Axelwise. Today, we're diving into a comprehensive guide to diagnosing and fixing the U01 to 2 code. So, let's gear up and get started. First things first, let's talk about the essential tools for tackling the U01 to 2 code. You're going to need a reliable multimeter, an OBD to scan tool, and some basic tools like screwdrivers, wrenches, and pliers. These will help you test the wiring, sensors, fuses, and get those diagnostic trouble codes. Now, onto our step-by-step -step process for an accurate diagnosis. 1. Start with your OBD to scanner. Check for other error codes that might give more insight into the problem. 2. Clear the codes, hit the road for a test drive, and use your scan tool's freeze frame feature. It helps you identify the exact conditions triggering the error. 3. Inspect the CAN bus wiring. Look out for any damage or corrosion that could cause communication issues. 4. Check the condition of the TSCAESP modules and their wiring. Disconnect the modules, inspect the connectors, and keep an eye out for rust or damage. 5. Time to use your multimeter. Conduct voltage checks on the module wiring, following the CAN bus wiring diagram. Ensure you're getting the right voltage readouts. Struggling with the U01 to 2 code? Regular fix is not cutting it. It might be time to consult a professional. Sometimes, the issue lies within the modules, requiring reprogramming or restarting. And in some cases, replacement is the only option. But remember, this is a last resort. Preventing the U01 to 2 code from popping up again means regular checks on your wiring harness especially around the CAN bus and the modules. Staying ahead with maintenance is key to smooth communication in your vehicle's system. That's it for today's video of Axelwise. See you on the next one and keep that engine revving.